This is Willis from uh, Consensus Lab. Today I'll be showing you our uptime checker. In short, it is a liveness registry and that's deployed on FEN. FEN. So uh, the first question probably be wondering is, uh, what is uptime checker and uh, what does it do actually? So to answer that question, imagine we have a bunch of like uh, nodes uh, that's running in the decentralized network. For now, let's just say in the case of Saturn, and we have a, like a global distributed CDN, and these are the CDN that's running in the in the network. Uh, imagine a user wants to fetch some information from nodes, you just reach uh, ping one of the nodes, uh, but then what if one of the nodes is down? How does a user know whether a node is up or down? And what's the, for example, what's the fastest node in the network uh, that's near me? So in this case, uh, this is exactly what uptime trigger is for. So it, it tells users like which nodes are active or alive and uh, what is the latency of a particular node. At the same time, uh, are the uh, metrics uh, above actually up to date? So this, uh, these are the core questions that the uptime trigger is trying to answer. We have, in this case, we have member, uh, what we call member nodes. So they are just a node running a certain common application or certain protocol across the network. And uh, of course, then we will have uh, what we call checkers. So they are just constantly going through a list of members to be checked, like periodically just ping them and to see if they are up and down and to see the network latency uh, for this uh, nodes. At the same time, once uh, it gathers the, the, the ping information, we will perform, like, for example, liveness report and uh, show the last last check time time to, to show the recency and also to show the latency uh, of that node in the network. And finally, the checkers also cross check each other. That means if if one of the uh, checker is down and then that checker can potentially be removed from the list of checkers. So we know all the checkers are actually alive. So in this case, checkers check members and also it checks it, check themselves. Uh, in terms of system architecture, uh, we have the uh, uptime actor. So here, this this uptime actor, which is a Rust implemented compiled to Bosom, it's running on the deployed on FVM. It does the registry like CRUD of the uh, checkers and members. At the same time, it also tracks the uh, reported uh, checkers that, that basically the checkers that are reported to be down. Uh, also, we have the member nodes. These are the uh, nodes that are participating in a certain protocol, and uh, we are actually using lib P2P. Uh, to uh, to do the pain. And uh, finally, we have the checker. This one uh, is actually Go, in, Go implemented and uh, it's Lotus based. What, what they do is they expose some endpoints uh, that uh, others can query to get the result of the uh, member node uh, information. At the same time, they also cross check each other. So as you see here, and once uh, if some checker is reported down, right, they will uh, the, the other checkers will start to report to uptime actor. And if a quorum or like a two third of the checkers reported a particular checker to be down, then that checker would be removed, automatically removed from the uptime actor. This is the high level or overview of the system architecture or in terms of function. So later for the demo, uh, the architecture is, is a simplified version where we have four checkers, and uh, we have two nodes, so they are all Lotus based, and we only have one miner though. So it's, it's not drawn uh, just to, for the sake of uh, simplicity. So this two member node form a lo local network, and uh, they will also have one uptime uh, actor that's deployed within this uh, local uh, network. Without further ado, I'll show you the, the, the demo. Now let's see uh, our code setup. So I do the kind of time constraint. Well, I have already set up the nodes plus the checkers. So uh, in order to see the whole end-to-end -end with the setup, I will refer you to the next uh, to the previous uh, another video. Uh, but for this one, uh, we have node zero and one already running. At the same time, we have four checkers. And from here, you can see node zero is actually running both the miner plus the uh, node itself. And we also have node one, which is actually just running the node and is connected to the node zero. Okay, uh, what's uh, very interesting is to check the bunch of the checkers. So currently we're at checker zero. So, and here is uh, logging, constant logging the list of checkers that's currently registered with the actor. And uh, the, the checker is actually the actor IDs of uh, those uh, registered checkers. And uh, 1001 
1001 should be referred to uh, ticker zero and the 1002 should be referring to ticker one and so on and so forth. So uh, later what I'll show you is uh, basically kill off the nodes and we should be able to see the, the treatment responses. And, uh, and the probably what's interesting is to show you uh, just take a the commands that we spin up. So uh, these are the commands that we use to spin up the triggers. And for example, you can see one is zero, uh, and one index zero. Uh, basically, just tell us that which uh, model to use. We have an uptime trigger, and this is the actor address. And uh, this parameter is checker port. So this is where the P2P port uh, is. And at the same time, we also have a node info port. So if you call or uh, apparently is HTTP. So if you call query this port, you will be able to get the uptime info of the nodes. So let's do this, localhost 301, because we're running everything the same, it's the same local network. So you see here we have the key is basically actor ID and is referring to this multi-address. And there will be the up. So this is actually the node zero. And the is online is true. So let's just focus on is online parameter, but the rest we are still turning it. And uh, this is actually saying, okay, uh, this node is up. At the same time, we also have the second node and it's also up. So let's just query another one. It should give us the same result. So uh, yeah, node zero uh, and one, both status is up. And this one should, yeah, is also up. So if you query node four and node three and node four, it, it should give you the same result. So the time is simply the time, I'm gonna show it. So what? So this uh, ideally is the happy path, or, or sort of like a happy path where everything's running. Now let's just kill off uh, the first uh, the first node. So uh, in that, I'm just toggle and uh, okay, let's just control C. And okay, this is this node is killed. Ideally, I can see what's the log. Okay, from the log, you can see it just constantly trying to ping those multi address uh, of the, the register second node and node basic node dash one and it just cannot and it's just it's just throwing an error so in this case uh if we just try to uh, go yeah you can see the status is actually forced so it's just saying this one this for this node this uh address multi address is not out so and uh, and uh, just check another one. Yeah, it's it's also telling us it's, it's it's down. So then now what's more interesting probably just try just try to kill off any of the checkers because they're constantly cross checking each other. I just try to kill off anyone. Um, okay, is it kill? Is it kill? Who knows? Okay, now it's kill off. So. Uh, okay, this one is actor ID one zero zero two. So from here, uh, let's just check out uh, this one. Okay, so you see in the law, it's saying actor ID one zero zero two is down, and you just cannot connect to both the node plus another checker. So after a while, I think currently this is doing the voting. After a while, and both of the, the rest of the all node, like for example, checker number two, a checker dash two is also. We're seeing this uh, being reported. So uh, after a while, like when the message is uh, is resolved or executed, uh, then yeah, yeah, see here, the response gets back. So the list of checkers register in the actor actually reduced by one because the one zero two is actually down. So uh, so that means the system is actually working now. With this, uh, I'll conclude my demo, and uh, because of time, we cannot show you the whole setup. I refer to you if you're interested, if you're, feel free to check out our repos and our other demo videos uh, for the whole setup. So, thank you.